You know what's going to happen now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Holy cow. That's okay. Don't panic. Buzz. be a step-by-step -step instructional video on how I install packages. Before you install your bees, you need to know how you are going to hang the queen cage. If you have a wooden queen cage, I recommend you bend the metal tab into a hook, then hang the tab from a nail. If you have a plastic cage, I recommend you straighten out one end of a paper clip. When the queen is in the other end of the cage, run it through a couple of the openings, then bend the end into a hook. Now twist the paper clip 45 degrees, insert a nail into the top loop, and hang the cage between two frames. You'll also need a hive tool, a pair of vice grips, something to cover the feeder can hole, yogurt lids work great, an extra bee box, a smoker, and a jar feeder. Now let's show you how I put it all together. There's not. Okay, that that I like to use a pair of vice grips so that so that once I get it, I got it. But we'll take it out real slowly. You can tell there's, there's a bunch of them clustered on it. Oh. Okay, so a few of them came out. That's fine. And there's a few on the bottom, so we'll just kind of, you can't really see, I'm flicking them off with my finger. And set it aside. Excuse me, girls. Hi. We'll scoot her in. A little bit maybe where I can grab it. Yeah, it's okay. All right, guys. Now watch, there'll be a bunch of them hanging on to her. And what they're doing, and I'm gonna get this covered back up. Just gently brush some of those bees off. Go ahead, gently. Nice. You don't want to squish them or roll them. Precious cargo. Think about them as flick them. That kind of that way you don't because you don't want to roll them. Crawling around in there. Yeah, yeah. She looks good, right? Oh. Huh. The inserter in between. The Close. Two. You first take off that thing. Yeah. Why, why do you think the cap is on there? So um, the bees don't eat it. So the bees don't eat it. That's exactly right. Make sure, do we make sure the queen is in the bottom or do we want to try to skewer her? Oh, we want her on the bottom. Yeah, good idea. And drop her down there. And she goes towards the middle, but not directly in the middle. And the reason for that is that we do not, if the syrup jar drips, we do not want her to get wet. Perfect. All right, so now, you know what's going to happen now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Holy cow. Oh, one's on me. That's okay. Don't panic. Multiple are on me. <laughs> and that box works like a funnel, so that a few of them, you can see a few of them are on the outside. I would say that was almost all. Yeah, I saw the bee on me. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay. Oh, right there. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> hey. Oh, mine's oh, right, mine right there, too. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a more than you. Okay. Now the last thing we do is you always make sure the ears of the frames touch each other. Those have to touch all the way across. There are two on my right. Smoke them down a little bit. 
cool. Not much. Okay, let's move it out of the way. It's gonna like almost cover it. But Ian can help too. Yeah. I feel like a beekeeper now. Yeah. yeah. And there you go. Be brave, have fun, and thanks for watching the channel.